we're doing savoury rice. So you'll need 150 grams of long grain rice. You'll need a pan with 550 millilitres of water in it and a stock cube. 50 grams of frozen peas. Three mushrooms, but these are quite big, so I've only got two. Peppers, half a pepper, but these are small ones, so I've got two of those. And a tomato and an onion. You'll also need some curry powder, which we'll have for you in school. And oil. Okay. You, again, you'll need a large pan to be cooking all this in as well. So on your chopping board, first thing you're going to do is put the pan of 550 mils of water in on, and the stock cube on to boil while you, so you can make your stock while you're actually making uh, and chopping up your vegetables, preparing for your savoury rice. It's better than messing about with the kettles. We haven't got enough for all of you. OK, so you're just going to pop this on the stove, bring it to the boil. Once it's to the boil, then um, you can turn it off because that's when the, the stock will be done. Once you've done that, you need to start prepping your ingredients. OK, so we're going to make a start with the mushrooms. Now, my mushrooms are quite big, so I'm going to take the, the stalk off. We use the bridge, cut in half, flat side down. I was going to cut them in half again, but I've decided against it because they do shrink when they cook anyway. And slice finely. Now, if you don't like mushrooms, you could put carrots in. You could peel and finely chop the carrots. Or you could use something like courgettes, because um, I know some of you don't like the mushrooms. OK, so you think about your colour, think about your flavour. You could put uh, celery in. OK, um, and then you put your mushrooms that you've chopped up onto your white tray. I'm using Because I'm at home, I'm using a plate. Uh, again, take the stalk off, bridge, cut in half, flat side down, slice finely. And then make sure you use the claw. Make sure you use the whole of the blade not just the tip. Okay, watch what you're doing. We don't want any chopped fingers. And then put the rest of your mushrooms onto your white tray because you'll take everything over to the stove to cook once you've prepared. Okay, so the next thing is going to be uh, the peppers. Now, uh, it does actually say on the recipe half a red pepper. It can be any colour of pepper. It's just that red's quite bright and, and, and um, vivid. So I've just, these are little sweet peppers, um, I've got a few left in my fridge, so I've just sliced it down the middle, just cut it in half, and then I'm getting up to the top. There's not many seeds in this, so I'm just trimming it round the stalk so I, can, I don't have any wastage. And that's my um, sweet red pepper. Okay, and then that will go onto the, this is a slightly bigger one. That will go onto the chop onto the white tray as well. This is a slightly bigger one, so I'm going to chop this in half, doing a bridge. Okay, and then um, because I suspect there'll be a little bit more, yeah, there's a little bit more in the middle here. So cutting down into the board, I'm going to take this this white pith out because it's quite um, bitter. So it's worth taking it out. Um, and then I'm going to slice it in half again using the bridge and then using the claw. Slice it finely and then uh, do the second half. Now because I've got the stalk and there's quite a bit left in there, I'm going to just cut that down into the board with the point of my knife and take out the whole, the whole of the stalk and then cut it down. Okay, and then once that's chopped up, I've kept the pieces nice and small because I don't want them overpowering the whole dish. I want them to be mixed in quite well because the thing with a, a, a savoury rice is that you can put just about anything and everything in it as long as it gets mixed in well. Okay, so last thing to chop up and prepare is my onion. So remember, hairy bottom stays intact. Cut the top off. Okay, give it a good cut so that you can actually see the onion inside. Take all the papery bit off the outside so you've got a nice shiny onion. Now you don't have to use a red onion. If you don't have on a, a red onion and or any onion other than spring, you could use spring onions as well. OK, so I just always have red onions because I like them. All right. So I'm peeling all the papery bit off 
and I've left the root intact. So I'm going to cut that down now through the middle, again using the bridge, flat side down, following the lines of the onion without cutting through the root. I'm going to do nice fine slices and then turn it at an angle and cut across the lines that I've just cut in. So I've got nice small chunks of onion. Okay, and then discard the root. And then the same again, you've got nice lines going through to the root. Slice finely all the way down the lines, but not to the end of the onion. Hold it together and do the cut across using the claw. Okay. And then we're ready. So that's going to go onto my uh, onto your white, you put that onto your white tray. Okay. And then we're going to start cooking. Um, make sure you've got your peas weighed out, you've got your curry powder and your oil before you start to cook. Okay, so there's my stock, it's done. Um, you can see it's like a golden colour. It's just a vegetable stock. You can use chicken stock if you want, but this is just vegetable stock. Don't use beef stock, it's too strong. Then um, a couple of tablespoonfuls of oil. Heat it up gently. And then... Add in your onions. And you're going to cook those. I've got the, you can tell it's a sunny day because I've got the sun glaring off the pan. Um, I'm going to cut the onions until they soften up a little bit. Okay, and then to this, once they've softened, you're going to add your mushrooms and your peppers. And then you're going to mix in all your other ingredients. Okay, so just keep it moving around the pan so they don't burn because all you want them to do is sweat off. When I talk about sweating off an onion, it means cooking them with no colour. Um, so they get they soften, but they don't caramelise um, because we don't want we want the flavour to go into the whole of the dish, and we don't want a burnt taste to it. So once they've softened down, okay, I'm going to add in my peppers and my mushrooms it all goes in together and then stir that round for a second or two just to get those coated in the oil it helps them to cook down a little bit um, and, and don't forget your temperature control because the, the pan was quite hot there I've turned it down a little bit and just keep everything moving around the pan until it starts to soften and once it starts to soften and notice I'm holding the pan some of you just stand there thinking oh I can just stir this you need to hold the pan when you're stirring because otherwise you can get a bit too carried away and sometimes it slips off the especially on the gas cookers it can slip off the grit off the um, the trivets okay so that started to soften down so what I'm going to do now is I am going to add in the rice and then stir that into the mixture just so again it gets co coated with oil um, and then I'm not going to cook it for very long because it will just start to stick to the bottom of the pan so to this now I'm going to add all the stock not a bit all of it all 550 millilitres of it because it needs that to absorb it to cook the rice okay so the whole stock's gone in give it a stir so it lifts that rice that might have started sticking to the bottom of the pan and then put your peas in and then two one well 10 grams it is of um curry powder um so it's two two teaspoons of curry powder to give some flavor now i'm not going to season it yet i'm going to season it at the end stir it all in bring it to the boil and then we're going to stir. You don't need to stand and stir now. Once it's been stirred and you've mixed everything through, you need to bring it to the boil and then turn it down to simmer. We don't want the water evaporating off before the rice is cooked. Okay. All right. 
like so it's, you just see it starting to bubble all right once it starts to bubble then we're going to turn it down and then leave it to simmer down and that's your finished dish 15 minutes okay now at this point check your rice make sure it's cooked if it's still a little bit hard add a touch more water maybe another 50 mils all right if it is cooked then just turn the heat off season it salt and pepper and there's your finished savory rice